but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you can do. If you've replaced batteries in your key fob, say you replaced one, they're new batteries, but they're not working. Here's a little trick. So let's try it on this Toyota one first here. And I've just sped this part up because you can use the key, take it out, pry it open like this where you can get access to the control board here. And so this one takes a CR2032 three volt battery. I'll go ahead and take this out. There we go. The thing that happens sometimes is if you look in here, see that little right in here? There's like a little metal half circle right here. The battery is not connecting to that half circle. And you're like, how can it not connect? See these two plastic tabs here? But on some battery compartments, you try to force in the battery and it forces these to split in half and bend down. And when that happens, it's gonna cover this half circle contact area here. So what I always do now is I'll have the battery, I'll have it go into that side first and press it down and click it. Now you're probably like, well, okay, I've opened up my compartment and it does have the, these two little plastic pieces are bent down actually, what can I do to fix it? You just take a, you can take a flathead, bend them up a little bit and you bend each one up. That way, when you put the battery in, you'll get contact. And if you ever get confused of when you're putting it back together, you'll see there's a circle here that'll line up with the battery when you put this back in. So that goes just like this. These will clip together. And now we can try it on this different battery here. This is an Acura. There we go. We'll go ahead and remove the battery real quick. And you can do this on all kinds of batteries here. This is the one I was really having problems with. You can kind of see, on this one it was more pronounced, so see the little half circle contact area there? On this one, these two plastic pieces were bent down and it wasn't contacting this half circle area. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery back in and you can see that red, you can see it's got power. Right, so you can test it even before you put it all back together by pressing the buttons and then you'll get the red blinking light here, of course. I hope this helped out guys and I hope you don't have to spend 20 bucks or something or buying a whole pack of batteries and going through batteries. Go ahead and subscribe if this helped out and check out the next vid.